Well, hello everybody. Uh, happy 4th of July week to y'all. Uh, happy slushy time. We're gonna have a great time today. I'm gonna make for you the impossible slushy. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the Long Island slushy. Nobody makes a Long Island slushy because it is impossible to make a Long Island iced tea into a slushy. Why? Because there is all this alcohol in it, which 100% prevents the slush, the mix from slushing and getting that proper consistency. Well, you know what? I've come up with a recipe that squashes that, squashes it completely. No more do you have to spend $80 on simple syrup and trying to adjust that. Nope, today we are gonna use a cheat code. That cheat code is Margarita Man's Neutral Mix. And we're gonna turn this half gallon of gourmet concentrated pure cane sugar mix into a delicious, scrumptious 4th of, 4th of July week treat known as the Long Island Iced Tea Slushy. So today our mix is going to include Margarita Man's Neutral Mix. We're gonna use some sweet and sour. We're gonna use some light rum, some light tequila. We're gonna use some vodka. We're gonna use some gin. We're gonna use some triple cassette, some Coca-Cola. And we're gonna make a delicious treat. It's 107 degrees out right now. It's time for a slushy. Let's get to making one. Oh, and I appreciate your subscription to the channel. Thumbs up if you like us, thumbs down if you don't. And for doing all those things you're supposed to do to help a YouTube channel grow, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Let me know down in the comments what mix you want to make. This Long Island slushy recipe is something I've been working on for about six months and it came from a viewer's comment. So, what do you want to see? I will take the time to perfect the recipe for you. But for now, I gotta make a Long Island slushy. First off, we're gonna start out with one gallon of water. You always wanna start out with water ahead of time just in case you don't have your slushy tank on there correctly and there's any leaks. You want the water to leak out, not the expensive alcohol or the expensive mix or anything sugary to get it all over your floor. Water goes in first every time. A right, trick to get uh, your slushy going faster is to use pre-frozen uh, alcohol. I have had this in the freezer for about eight hours. Oh, it's got plenty of nice and coldness to it. We're gonna use two cups of every liquor. Tequila. Now, I do recommend using 100% agave tequila. Do not use Jose Cuervo, you will regret it. Two cups of vodka. Two cups of gin. Two cups of triple sec. Now this triple sec does have 15% ABV in it, or it is 30 proof. If you're having a problem getting yours to slush, use a non-alcoholic triple sec liquor or liqueur. Next, we got the sweet and sour. I'm gonna do four cups of sweet and sour. All right, we are using two cups of Coca-Cola. Make sure you use the actual Coke. Don't use anything diet. The extra sugar will help out. All right, last but not least, I've shaken my Margarita Man Neutral Base mix up. And the water of the Margarita Man Neutral Base is that it has pure cane sugar and it is designed to give this recipe that 13% sugar that it must have in order to properly slush. It's a cheat code, I never have to think about it and it's awesome. I right, turn the machine on, it's gonna go through its checks, make sure everything's nice and functional. And then here in a second, we're gonna crank this to a negative 7.1 slush mode by turning on the left mixing, or turn on the slush button, I'm gonna turn on the set, and I'm gonna scroll down to negative 7.1. Now, if for some reason I need to crank this down even lower, we can, but for now, let's let this bad boy do its magic. It'll come back and have a have the ultimate taste test, right? I just realized I made an entire Long Island slushy and I don't have the auger in. So I'm gonna take the contents out, put the auger in, and we'll start again. How about that? Now we can make a slushy. Let's go. All right, the moment of truth. Let's check this bad boy out and see how it does for us.
Oh, look at that. Oh man, everybody says making a Long Island slushie is impossible. Proof positive, it can be done. Let's check out the tasting profile and see how this bad boy tastes. Cheers. Success. It is spot on perfect Long Island slushie. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. Melts in your mouth. Once again, snow cone consistency. Um, it's got all the brown sugars. It's got all the, the applesauce notes. It's got all that, that tangy zest, that umami flavor that we all love and crave in a Long Island iced tea. If you're making this at home and you want some presentation, make sure you grab a lemon, cut a lemon wedge, boom, put it on there. Maybe one of those neat little umbrellas on the side to kick off that perfect summer flair. Uh, if you love Long Islands, this is the ultimate cheat code. This is the ultimate slushy recipe for the Long Island slushy. Mmm. I mean, it is you mommy. Have you ever had, I'll tell you exactly what this is like. Have you ever had a beef broth that is so packed with flavor? It's so you mommy. It's like, oh, it's impossible to put more flavor in this thing. This is packed with flavor. I can distinctly taste all the notes you're supposed to get with the Long Island. The citrus notes, the Coca-Cola notes, the tequila, nothing, you really you shouldn't get really anything from rum, vodka, or especially gin if they're made correctly. Maybe you might get a little um, juniper notes in a gin, but that's about it. This is a perfect, perfect tasting Long Island. Now, a couple caveats. One, I did have to crank this to the lowest setting I could possibly get. This goes to a negative nine. You can see it actually went to a negative 9.2, which is not possible for me to get to negative 9.2 setting wise. I set it to negative nine and it did it. If you have a viewer or another commercial grade slush machine um, that doesn't go this low, easy solution. Add another three quarters to a one gallon, three quarters of a gallon to a gallon of water and add two to four more uh, cups of Coca-Cola. That will give you a larger base of a freezing consistency and add sugar. Another cheat code is if you get it, you make this mix and it just doesn't freeze, add a full, boom, add a full uh, 3.7, 375 milliliters of simple syrup. This is the brand that we use in our old fashions. Um, as a cheat, you can always add that in because it instantly makes more sugar into your bricks. If you don't have a refractor like we do to test the sugar content, you can get one. I'll leave links down in the video's description. But they're like, they're like 20 bucks and you can instantly know, instantly tells you the sugar content of your slushing machine. The ultimate cheat code here though is the Margarita Man Neutral Base. Normal slushy recipes tell you to put in a gallon of simple syrup. This is 10 bucks a bottle. If you're gonna put a gallon in, you're gonna go broke and it's not even worth it. So this is the ultimate cheat code. This is 13% of pure cane sugar. It's already designed for commercial grade slushy machines. Um, don't pay full price though. Use the discount code multicasking to get 15% off of any flavor that Margarita Man has. And if you order six or more, free shipping. Uh, don't pay full price when you don't have to. And why pay for shipping when you don't have to? We both know you're gonna use at least six throughout the summer. I know I do. I order usually about two cases at a time because uh, we're constantly going through something different. I usually run two tanks as well. Also, if you want a commercial grade slushing machine, save 5% off using the code down in the video description below on anything at Vivor. For the summer only, that code is not good just for the X300 slushy machine that I have. It's good on all Vivor products. Vivor products are expensive, so save money when you can. Shout out to Margarita Man for making a ultimate cheat code for me. This is freaking spot on delicious. You gotta make it this summer. Blender instructions are down in the video's description below as well. Thank you for your subscription to the channel. 
thumbs up if you like me, thumbs down if you don't, and for doing all those things you're supposed to do to help a YouTube channel grow. This slushy recipe came to me after a viewer request, and I spent six months perfecting it. So if you have a request of an impossible slushy you want me to make, or just a slushy you want me to see make, uh, you wanna see me make, leave it down in the comments below as well. That's about it for today, guys. I'm Charlie, this is delicious. I hope you're just as thirsty as I am. Cheers. Summer perfection, yes!